Right, let's turn our attention to the stock market now. The Nigerian equities market traded marginally uh, on Wednesday section with the benchmark index gaining about 0.12 percent. That's about 59.29 basis points to set to at 49,475.43 basis points against uh, Tuesday's uh, session. Now, the market capitalization gain about 3 billion naira on Wednesday's session, closing at 26.91 trillion naira. Now, sustained interest in Taiwan banking, uh, including Zenith Bank, Guaranteed Trust Bank, a holding company, uh, FBN Holdings, PLC, drove the market positive performance offsetting losses in Access Holdings, uh, PLC, and uh, Gary Power PLC. Now, let's uh, look at the you may look at this as a Santa Claus, um, Santa Claus rally now, given the fact that it's just about a few days or so one more trading day to go ahead of uh, the Christmas holiday. Let's get talking now as we assess the investor position and, of course, the current sentiment in the market. Ambrose Omodian is uh, Chief Research Officer, Investor at Consulting Limited. He joins us via the telephone. Thank you for joining us, Ambrose. We appreciate your time. Uh, talk to us. Would you consider this as uh, the last minute um, hour of uh, market movement, or if you prefer, Santa Claus rally ahead of the Christmas? Talk to us about the factors responsible for the recent gain witness in the market. Yeah, actually, yes, as you just said, I would say this is a continued uh, bull rally for almost uh, straight uh, six days now. We have seen the market in the green. But if you look at the green that we are seeing, I would tell you this is a marginal green. Know that uh, it has been held by some uh, you know, blue chip stocks. But we have not seen an all round market rally across both the high caps, low cap, and middle. We have just seen a selective uh, middle caps and low caps stock gaining. And that's why we have not seen a huge uh, kind of change. Apart from the market has crossed uh, the 49,000 mark, uh, which is good, and also heading for uh, the 50,000 mark before the end of the year. But the good thing is that we are seeing more gainers than uh, losers. But because we are not seeing uh, the high price stock gaining this period, we have not seen that leap in terms of gain. But the good thing that the sentiment in the market remained positive. As of yesterday, we saw about 77 buy position and just to 3 uh, to 3 percent sell position. Then the buyers are in charge. That I means the buying power in the market is high. And there's a lot of uh, investors seeing uh, you know, high dividend yield in some stocks. That also kind of their yield is ahead of what they are seeing also in fixed income markets, especially in treasury and others. As we put now, the average yield for bond is around uh, 14 to 16 percent, which is also far below the world the inflation. But getting the period involved for those uh, fixed income yield is more than a year and not the stock. But in equity market, we are seeing that the dividend yield that these are looking attractive are less than uh, 30 to 4 months to make that uh, percent, like today. No, we saw that in the last uh, seven weeks, uh, we have seen uh, the GDP return about 25% in less than uh, no, two months. And that tells you that you know, these are the positions people are taking now. See so that we are seeing a shorter period to make a higher return. People are looking more equity. And also, money flow index in the market have shown that funds are entering the stock market. But we have not mm. seen you know, yeah. commercial uh, volumes to support this uh, fund flow into the market. That means stock where funds are entering individual stock, not the, the whole market. That we have not seen a big uh, gain. That, that was to show that yeah, the market is up. But speak now, most of the blue chip companies and the high capital are still flat more at the open of the, the year, uh, the month of December. But I believe that going towards the end of the year and end of the quarter in the dressing, after the holiday, we might see a move there. But for me, the market is very, very heavy. We are seeing market above 200, uh, 200, uh, moving average. And also, we are seeing maintaining an open, we call it um, not a market face, which is also good for the market. But one thing, we we'll see a higher gain last year. The recovery is still on what on a track. Now, Ambrose, one would have thought that uh, I mean investors will be spending uh, this Christmas, but it looks like uh, it the, the tide has changed. We see more, like you rightly pointed out, that we see more funds entering into the uh, equities market. Why is that? We should we should be seeing more spending than savings, but not the uh, the case now. No, actually, you know, we have today and uh, and uh, tomorrow to see, you know, public activities. But actually, there's probably what we call a open chart or pattern in the market. We have seen it, you know, in several days in the market, but they have not really responded to that open. That means we might see a reversal in the trend. But the good thing is that 
We don't have much time, and I would have asked you the outlook for today, but we have to leave it now. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for your time on Business Breakfast. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You're still watching Business Breakfast coming to you live from our studio. Still to come after the break, domestic airlines warned that passengers to expect flight delays and cancellations during the U-tide as scarcity of aviation fuel worsened. Well, this is our conversation next when we return from these commercials. Please stay with us. <laughs>